Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. There's a grave Hi. threat to peace and freedom in the world, and it is this kobold cave. What are you going to do? What is the party doing? Uh, so I want to kind of go outside a little bit more and just make sure we really scare the, the kobolds off, right? If I see any, any here, I'm definitely yeah. going to make, make some kind of loud noises. Okay, uh, yeah. you get over yeah. there and you start banging your shield and your sword together or something, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and they scurry back out the front door. We can't right. fight a war on two fronts. We can't go deeper in if these guys are going to hit us from behind. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I'll just I'll just kind of keep following them outside. Not not really chasing so much as just, just just fleeing them, making sure that they actually run away and aren't just sticking back. Right, right. Uh, they they scurry out and flee the cave. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's too low, pretty low in spells, right? Yes. Yeah. And you? Not a Cuban style. A Cuban style. Yeah. Weaker, but more unlimited spells. Wow. Or maybe not more, weaker, but unlimited spells. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Very good. All right, so That's we need to rest up. So uh, father, the good father here is able to help us in the next fight. But that take a night rest. Did we? I think we're pretty good. I don't know. Mm. I'm doing. I'm doing pretty. I've, I'm doing fine, man. This is this is just a day's all a day's work yeah. for the Lord. Walker's embodying us there. Well, whatever's deeper in, the kobolds didn't run in that direction. Look They're at all these dead right. kobolds. I just are at the ground. Yeah. I can't even count them. I start like so throwing much dead kobold bodies on the, like, over here. You soon gain a small mound of kobold bodies in Can here. I put them on pikes, I guess? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good, like, like thing. I mean, there's yeah, a lot of pikes right barbaric, here. Mate. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why, I mean, those pikes that are out there. Just as, yeah. like, a warning. Is this justice, Sir Paladin, putting their heads on parks? You're right. You're right. Yeah. Let's give them. Let's give them some freedom. <laughs> yeah. Along with along with heads on pikes. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. That's a, that's not a burial. We'll just we'll just leave them here for now. Put them back under the the rock elementals. Yeah. Uh, can we move some of these barricades? Yeah. Totally. How would you like to rearrange them? But we won't be able to get out if these barricades move. Yeah, let's away. not barricade it, I feel like. Let's barricade it. I'm I saying whatever sleep you're in could be worse. Me in my sleep. Well? I mean, if we're, are we actually sleeping here? Oh, I'm good either way. You, you're yeah, close. I, I think we should. How long did it get out? It take to get out here? At least well, this is, Yeah, this is the second day we've already rested in the woods, remember? Yeah. So it's like sleep in the woods or sleep in the skate. I mean, yeah, all right. But if we're going to sleep, we should do it more of, as like an ambush, right? To make sure that they're not, if they come back. Yeah. So I have all my spells, so I do not need rest at okay. the moment. Let's, let's, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe nothing needs to be moved here, I suppose. If you, if you get your eight hours of sleep. Utilize this <laughs> tight space to kind of keep them all mm -hmm. from swarming mm -hmm. us again. Yeah. If you get your eight hours of sleep, I'll be able to keep watch. And if it was just camp so right it. here, you will just camp right in this doorway. Well, we don't have exactly much sight there. But then they can't like swarm us because we could just body block them. Okay, but we've seen their waves. They can climb up above and swarm us that way. Yeah, it'd still be less effective than just getting us kind of out in the open. Mm, true. So, Paladin. Um. I mean, I don't know if they're just going to charge in like that. How many do they even have left? Well, hopefully they don't charge in like that, and then it's win-win. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll kick the light stone out so they and it'll be awake, so they won't, so we can keep scaring them away while you sleep. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Because I, I, as I said, I've still got my spells, so I do not need to sleep for the next eight hours. Sure. Okay. And if like, worst comes to works, I'll yeah. wake up uh, Sir Walker. But yeah. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, but I don't oh, know. Oh, of course. So we'll Gil Gillian need keep saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So that's the plan. 
Yep. You take a rest while the kobolds are outside, and you take shifts watching. Yeah. I'm no, I'm I'm taking the whole eight hours. You're shift. taking the whole eight so hours. I don't okay. I don't need to sleep. Sure. Um, after the sun goes down outside, which you can see through the the canyon mm. entrance here, uh, you begin to hear this chanting or maybe singing of many kobolds together, lifting their voices in harmony, and they're singing some sort of oh. Oh, 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 sort of thing um, from the outside. I'll have my uh, light stone at the ready. I cast Cure Light Wounds before. You sleep, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you cast before you went to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, you're fine. I mean, I think we should go do something about this. I don't I don't think we should just stay. There's no well, reason to stay well, out. Yeah, yeah, but if we leave him alone, something could get him from behind. Oh. <sighs> Oh, it sounds like an attack. Oh, I feel like we can't. Oh, or a funeral. Z, Z, yeah. Z, Z. All right, all right. I'll... Okay, it's dark out there, so I can't just leave the stone here. Z, 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 Z. Yeah, yes, Z, Z, Z. <laughs> uh, you're, you're cool, Sir Paladin. I was going to say, we should just go out there. Like, this is not. I, I feel like now we're the, we're the ambushed if we're here. All right. We should meet sure yeah, let's wake up. Let's, we're waking him up. What? It's not, not enough time. <laughs> we're down to attack. All right. Where are we going, I'll kind of listen to the noise. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 Yeah. Let's see what they're doing. I lift my crossbow to the air. Yeah. All right. Let's go look. Uh, I'll keep the lights down hidden until. Yeah. Because it's going out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a gander. You guys go to poke your head outside. Yeah. Uh, not going to let no kobolds intimidate us. All right, we're just going to briefly look at the other map. We're going to actually leave you guys in the cave for now. Where's the spot yeah, of the map that we're supposed to be? <gasps> uh, where are we Literally. hiding? Here we are. We're way up here. Yeah. There we go, perfect. Um, so outside of the cave, you you guys are all here still. Um, we should have, where are they hiding? These guys, they're not right there though. They are, ooh. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo. They are all sort of like standing near the pitch and also near the entrance. There's a few more than I actually have on this map because some of them are still on the other map and never made it over here. Um, so <laughs> there are kobolds all over the place, like surrounding this entrance and near the pitch, chanting and swaying in song and harmony. They look like anti-war protesters. Which way are they looking? <laughs> uh, they're all facing the cave, actually. All right. Every last Ooh. one of them. They could be trying to smoke us out. Let's they let's got... not give them any opportunities to pull a fast one. Let's stay stay in the cave. Everybody yeah. back up. You sure you don't um, want to go out and meet them in the field? No, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. But you did so well. Surely it would, you would just easily cut them down. So Paladin, what's your call? Yeah, we could just stay here. We could, we could provoke them. We could... Mm. Call I'll bring the, I can reveal the light stone. That will provoke them. Yeah. Is this really the way the Lord wants us to do it? Running from a fight, I'm afraid, is also not what your Lord would want, right? This isn't running from a fight. This is maintaining an established position. Fair but enough. We, fair but enough. if we talk to them, we, we could get, get one cup, we, tell them to leave. All right. Oh. Look up. Sir Paladin? Let's just keep in mind, as soon as these little guys get next to us, we're not an edge. So let's stay inside the cave. Hey! Hey, you kobolds! You guys Cut that. get out of there! Cut that chatting out! I reveal the light stone. Is there anything else seen? Nope. Oh, they keep chanting. Oh, I shoot one. They just sit in. You shoot one? 
No, it's a sitting. I can't. I'd have a range weapon. One. Natural one. Uh, <laughs> Your crossbow jams. Like the the bolt like digs into the front and the the twine slaps your wrist and the bolt like flips over and now there's like this weird gash in your crossbow and the the bolt is all like jammed and awkward and you got to spend a few minutes repairing it. Okay, I start um, repairing my crossbow. Can I get a perception check from the party? Everyone Father, in the party. I, said, I didn't say shooting, Spara. I said it's a sit-in. <laughs> <laughs> What? Any other perception checks wanting to be made? Or just Brian? Just, oh, just Sir Walker? Oh, God. All right, all right, all right. Oh, beautiful day. You are totally unaware of everything uh, until, like, the last moment. Um, what is the, your exact order here? It looks like Father Gideon is the one in the back. Yep, yep. Oh, Father Gideon. Neil, uh, are you are you ganking us right now? Told you, you so. are getting ganked from behind. Uh, we're gonna bring you back over to the other map, and uh, Father Gideon. All of a sudden, you feel something near your ankle as this. I turn around. Tar golem monster oozy thingy is like wobbling towards you and has grabbed your foot and it's like this big sticky massive pitch and it begins to crawl on you and over you um, and consume you hold on i need to pull out my custom monster stat blocks here who could have predicted this who yes. could have predicted that there were more monsters deeper in the cave and my god him. <laughs> my god my god. Oh, oh, oh. Have you got any fire starter? The Paladin, can you start any fire? I gotta. can start a fire in my heart? Yeah. Fire of liberty, justice! Let me see what's my character sheet. Maybe. Here we go. Yeah, I got a tinder box. Alright, I got a tinder box. All right, um, I'm gonna need to roll some hit dice for this sucker. Oh, great. Okay, and uh, I think we're gonna need to roll some initiative here. We're gonna do it in groups again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like that. I think you can't see good you can't see those numbers um ludo vicious rolls a five for the party the ooze golem monster thingy rolls a two and the kobolds roll a nine now the problem is that we can't really see outside of the cave so we can't really see the kobolds here so we're gonna do a little bit of a fudging. Um, or we'll switch us to the other map and just have the thing behind us. Well, yeah. instead we're gonna stay on this map and we're just gonna back everyone up just oh, a wee no, bit, no. like mm, this. Sure. Uh, I think we need to do something like this because you guys were in this position on the other map. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So we'll do something like that. Um, so you were there. This is how it was, and then you'll be here, Mr. Uzi guy. And then the kobolds will be there. Oh, perfect. Okay, then I have an, a, a non-endless, a finite pool of kobolds that I will just keep dragging on as needed. And let's turn on our battle music. Thermopolis Pass. How many, how many kobolds block the kobold entrance? Uh, let's see. I know we, uh, on uh, Dicing with Death, this topic was coming up stacking bodies this is about 25 kobolds yeah all right that's a lot it's a lot um all right the oozy thingy goes first it is already attached to gideon that's what it did on its surprise attack 
Uh, on a hit, the creature sticks to the target, pulls itself closer, starting to crawl up and over the creature. So this round, it will automatically, you can feel like your skin blister and burn underneath this toxic pile of ooze, and your legs begin to like ration and flame for two points of damage. Ooh. Um, once attached, it is difficult to remove. The ooze easily attaches to flesh, cloth, leather, or even metal. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. Perception checks were really important. <laughs> they were hugely important. Um, but thank God you failed them all. It is the party's turn. Okay. Well, I'm dying. So a paladin should light it on fire. Yeah. It Don't let it start. Uh, yes, sir, Paladin. I'll light it on fire. Can I, can I pull my leg out? Yank it? Give me a strength check to try and remove yourself from the creature. Ah. No. It's your... It, you pull your leg and the ooze just kind of like comes with it. Have you ever been to the La Brea Tar Pits and they've got those like things that you can stick in the ooze Do and like pull it back out? Hmm? Do I have bless? Yeah, plus you do bless. Yeah, well, yes. Yeah. You have a 21... Um, it need, I will have to make my own counter check. No, you still can't hold it. Okay. Mm-hmm. You still can't pull out of it. Fair enough. Uh, um, what are you guys going to do for your turn? I'm going to take out my, uh, quarter staff and just like beat at my leg. All right. Just beat uh, at your leg. I'm just, I'll, I'll take an attack I'll against it. Well, where right. am I? I can't really get an angle on it where I am anyway. Yeah. Cause I'm behind the party. Yeah. And I've got All no right. ranged. So let's see, Father Gideon, you smash the ooze with your quarter staff, which immediately gets stuck to the ooze and is now attached to it Who as well. Who could have predicted this? <laughs> uh, Walker, what are you doing here? I, I made an attack, so I get a 20. You do get a 20. I, I think you sever the ooze that is connecting the big blob to Father Gideon. Um, the, the ooze just kind of like splits and now there's just like a section on Father Gideon and his staff and Light a section that is separate. Yeah, uh, well, I can't, I'll pass you to the damage, you get four damage. Right. All right. Okay. Well, I've got a box. Someone in the front row will have to do it. Sure. I can get it ready. I've got it ready, uh, okay. So my turn, I get the fire ready, so someone... So you like, you pull out the tinder box, sit down, like get the the flint and steel and like light a little bit of tinder on fire and it's inside this box and it's flaming. It's only going to be on fire for a little bit before it burns out. You have next round. Uh, You you could totally throw it at it. Totally. Yeah. All right. Is it a G agility check or just? Uh, 1d20 to hit and you're aiming for the middle of it, and then if you miss, we'll do some scatter dice, and it's a big creature, so even if you miss, you might still land an appropriate square. Yeah. Uh, wow, did you ever miss? Let's take a look at the scatter chart in the DMG. I told you, you guys should have thrown it. Can you light my leg on fire? (laughs) (laughs) He's already cut the thing off your leg. Okay. Right, but he could still land next to his leg, and you could just yeah, catch him wrong. on fire. Is this how fire elementals are created? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, we saw how they're created. 89, page 89 of the DMG. But then what creates the oil elemental? <gasps> Dead okay. dinosaurs. De- de- oh. Dead dinosaur elementals. <laughs> yes! <laughs> My history books speak of these terrible lizards that used to roam this area. Multi-headed like lizards. Hydras. Mm, Hydras are more of a modern innovation, thanks to uh, clerics of Martha. All right, we're going to be using this scatter diagram, and I'm going to need you to roll me a... Oh, hold on. Let me move my mic before I start banging shit around. I'm going to need you to roll me a 1d10, and we'll figure out where you go based on the scatter diagram. So seven. seven is forward and to the right slightly. Uh, so for you, you would be sort of um, kind of in this direction. And mm-hmm. then we need to roll a D6 to determine uh, how far, if the throw is short range, use a six-sided die, medium 10, 
If it's long, d2, d10, the number rolled is the number of feet away from the intended target the missile lands. So you roll, oh, so you only roll like one foot off the, the center. So you will actually hit still in the range of the ooze because it's a big boy. Yes. Yes. Uh, and the ooze goes up in flames. Roll me, uh, roll me 1d6 damage. Uh. Wow. Yeah, the ooze uh, sets on fire and begins to buzz and hiss and pop and boil in front of you. Um, so much, boys. And that is when the kobold strike. The horde runs in at you. Father, not Father Gideon, um, Ludovicious, they hit you from behind with the natural one is going to be a miss so that the kobold yes. wave tries to hit you but there's too much momentum and rather than like climbing over you it's more of just like you know like a, um, a car hitting a brick wall at like 70 miles an hour they just kind of like flatten into you and there's like a a push you get shoved against the wall but you can throw yourself off as the kobolds mm. are all squished if, and stuck together if we slip out of the way the kobolds will just run into the fire <laughs> if yeah, only. There's actually a perfectly designed crevice right here. Yeah. Yes. Well, the kobolds sort of like end up stacking in this ah, direction ah, all ah. around here ah, as they come ah, to get you. The next up. pack of kobolds. I don't actually know if they can get to Walker here. Um, I don't think so. Well, maybe I don't two. Think so <laughs> either. They can't. They definitely can't overbear. But they will filter in on the sides. One of them will make an attack at, let me roll who they're gonna attack. One, two, three, stop rolling fours. Stop rolling fours. One against Ludovicious. He will stab at you for a 14 to hit from behind and not including uh, your shield. Oh, okay. Well, it says I'm a class 15 on the- yeah, uh, Perfect. Back. Yeah. Uh, then it stabs you in the armor and does absolutely nothing. Right. Um, and that is it for the monster's turns. Let us roll initiative. Um, uh, Ludovic, not Lud uh, uh, Walker. It doesn't matter. Ludovic is now Walker next time. We get a six here. We get a one here. We get a nine over here. The kobolds are first. Uh, and again, they're gonna try their overbear attack. It's their one move. And when it works, it works beautifully. So, Ludovicious, please make me one attack of opportunity. I, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. There it is. 14 is a hit. Roll yeah. me some damage. All right. And, all right. Do, 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 do. Right. Sorry. The tension is rising. Attention. Oh my. God, you rip them to shreds. The remainder still get their overbear attack off of you. They definitely hit. I wish that had been their strength roll. Oh my God. <coughs> One Remember, second, you know, four, five, there's a dead body there. Four, six, seven. Can they, they get plus 14? They'd have to roll a natural 20 to drag you down this round. 17 and 14 is wait a minute did i do my math right 17 plus 14 is a 31 oh so close they almost drag you down uh hmm. but not quite and we go on to the party's turn party there are kobolds and there's this flaming pile of ooze hmm. i think what do we you should do? move away from the ooze uh yeah can i can i run like this way Sure. Go for it. Count. Okay. All right. The ooze gets an attack of opportunity as you do so, though. Ah, oh, Neil, you sneaky. <laughs> <I'm> nutty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ooze reaches out and slaps you with like a, a sticky tendril that you need to make me a strength ah. check to avoid being stuck too, too hard. Posed by the ooze. Ooze does not roll great. You roll even worse. You get that far and then you're stuck. The ooze is like in between you and over these, uh, this barrier now and it's all on fire, which is gonna set the barrier on fire. You're gonna take three points of burning damage, um, like ooze hitting you damage, I should say. The burning damage will start on your next turn. Walker, what are you gonna do? All right, you got the ooze. I got the cobalt. Looks like I'm you good at that. <laughs> you don't have the ooze. 
<laughs> no one has the <laughs> attack the, the kobold. He's he's got it covered. I'll see. You. I'll see how he is next round. He's, he'll probably be good. All right. Be careful. You you have exposure back to the use then. Oh yes. my god. I'm not afraid. You rip the kobold in twain, probably has five hit points. You do dip single credit. Oh, single. Yeah. Oh, but you do uh, 2d8 plus three. You can't not kill him, but let's see it yeah. anyway. Oh my god, ripped from his shoulders. Uh, what about you, Ludovicious? Um, did this take a burning damage on my turn? Or At the not? end of the round. I'm just going to do it oh, end of the okay. round. All right. Um, so the kobold's no longer in front of me. Uh, there uh, are many kobolds in front of you. Yeah, I know, and I'm at the other ones. All right, let me just do an attack. Do, 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 do. Uh, mm. Mm. Nine is no good. The ooze goes. The oil golem? The pitch monster? I'm not sure what to call this thing, because it's not quite an ooze. It's like a, a, a tower, like a, you know, a blob of burning oil at this point. And it Oil gets, flame. Ooh, it gets one attack per round, and it will make its attack against. It's already got Gideon. Which of the other two of you does it want? Well, I burnt it. <laughs> oh, Walker. Oh, Walker, buddy. It reaches out to grab you. It gets plus two to hit because of back attack, and so that is definitely going to be more than a ten. So it will grab you, but I don't think it does enough to, hold on, eight and uh, 13. Without shield, your AC is at 13, is it? Um, no, it is. I, I have three dexterity, so, or, yeah. So without, with, from back attack, your AC is much lower. So 13 uh, will hit you. Uh, wait, am I, is it, a, is it a touch attack or a regular attack? I, it's a uh, touch attack from behind. Okay, yeah, so of course that'll, yeah, that'll hit me, yeah. Okay, so actually it's two things. It's whether or not it touches you, and then there's also the um, the roll to see if it actually hits you, because it's trying to slap you and hurt you. Okay. Um, so the touch will hit you. What is your just back AC? Uh, 15. Okay. So it won't do damage, but it will grab you, and it sticks itself to you. So you're now attached to the ooze, and Gideon's attached to the ooze, and the fire is spreading towards both of you, but you don't take any damage from the actual blow itself. Um, we go to the end of the round, and Gideon, you're gonna burn a little bit. You're gonna take a point of burning damage. Sir Walker, you're gonna take a point of burning damage, and why don't you roll a 1d6 for the ooze monster itself, Lucividius, because you set it on fire. Yeah. I took how much? One. Okay. It takes three. It is still standing, but it is burning. Four uh, and smoke is piling up in the the, the the cave. The kobolds that are outside are still chanting their weird chanty thingy, and we roll initiative. Uh, Walker, roll initiative for the party, please. Yep. Um, mm. Nope. Oh, no good, no good. The ooze thingy goes first, and it's gonna reach out towards Ludovicious as well. With a two plus six is an eight. Which way are you facing, Ludovicious? Uh, towards the kobolds. Oh, so that makes it a 10, which is going to hit you. Uh, so it'll at least touch you. Oh, touch attack's 14 for me. Uh, but not from the back, because from the back you don't get your dex, right? Wait, how is uh, your AC 14? What is, what is your... Hold on, hold on. 16 dex. 16 dex. I've got full chain. I've got shield proficiency. Right, okay, we here we go. So AC provides five, Dex provides two, Shield provides two. Okay, so it will touch you from the back because back attacks you don't get your Dex or your Shield modifiers uh, for and it only uh, needs sorry. to touch you. So it will touch you, but it will not hurt you from behind. But you are also grabbed. So all three of you are now grabbed by the burning ooze monster of death. Well, uh, the, the burning slam. <laughs> right, right. The kobolds go, they're not super thrilled about you guys being on fire, but you're also not like heavily on fire. And so more kobolds pile into the fray here and they will try and bring down Ludovicious one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Attack you, give me one opportunity attack against them mm -hmm. as they try to drag you down. 15 will hit. Seven damage will kill. 
Uh, and they will hit you. Give me an opposed strength check. They roll 16 plus 11 is a 27. 27? Mm, I got 20. Yes. Oh, they finally drag you to the ground. You are prone and covered with kobolds. They're just, they're swarming your little body. They're everywhere. It's a million of them on you. And it becomes the party's turn. All right, well, Sir Walker's got two attacks this round. Gideon, I, I thought, I told you, you I thought you had the ooze monster. I, I thought we had this covered. He's just like screaming, ah, ah. Gideon, finish it off already. From underneath the kobolds. Ah. <laughs> it's only got five or four HP left. Gideon's I can't on really fire. Gideon, Gideon is just on fire. We're Wait. all on fire. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Gideon? Uh, Gideon, Gideon, save us! Take it out! It's got four HP, just shoot it! <laughs> Gideon uh, breaks the grip that's on him. You do? Yeah, he's gonna get away. Do it! How do you break the grip? I'm gonna see you break the grip. He's yeah. Pull away. 25. Oh, 25! It does it. That will do it. You managed to rip yourself free of the ooze monster, but you're still sort of on fire a little I bit. Jump in the water! All right, you douse the fire in the water itself, in the water. You splash like around in the darkness. Uh, <laughs> you're fine. You're good. You're Gucci, you're buddy. You're alive. Uh, meanwhile, Walker and Ludovicius, what do you want to do? Um, uh, can I extend my attacks while, while this is up? I don't even care that I'm 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 gotten. Wait, so you, can you get your regular attacks? You mean? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay, okay you got two it. attacks. Okay. You got two. Um, I guess I'll take an attack at the at the use monster. Um, Cause I'm just I'm disappointed at this at this Gideon, Gideon guy. I thought he had me covered, but I guess I gotta gotta clean up his messes here. Sometimes uh, your allies aren't re aren't uh, very good here. Yeah. Well, Seventeen. Well. Your sword hits into the ooze and cuts off a section of it. Um, give me a strength check to see if your weapon gets stuck in the ooze. The burning flan pile. You can pull your sword out. It doesn't look like you've done any damage. And as soon as your sword is removed, the ooze just sort of like back okay. together. All right. So we're just going to out let it burn to death. Um, and then I guess I'll take one and attack at the kobold then. Mm. All right. Um, Archer. Cool. No good. Ludovicious, you are under a pile of kobolds. I tried to push them away. Stand up. Give me your strength check. They... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the 7, 26. 7, 14. They roll a 29. Yeah. Yes, 26. they hold you down. And at the end of the round, um, Walker and Ludovicious... Well, Walker definitely gets at least uh, two points of burning damage from the ooze attached to you. Right. Ludovicious, you did get knocked down and surrounded by kobolds. I want you to make me a saving throw, a death saving throw. It's just going to be a flat d20 for you. Oh, sure, sure. You want to roll a 10 or higher on a d20 to have been, like, smothered. Oh, yeah. When the kobolds hit you, that back part of you that was on fire sort of just got splatted and put out. But that also means you're sort of, like, mm. like it, it's attaching you to the ground somewhat. Uh, please roll me 1d6 for the burning flan damage. Three, ah. it still lives. Two HP left. And we will roll initiative for the next round. Ooh, they do not go well. Who's... Uh, who hasn't rolled in a while? Ludovicious, you haven't rolled in a while. No, Gideon, you haven't rolled in a while. It's your turn. Aha! Yes, you can do it. Man in the water. Mm. That's Excellent. A cool. All right, party goes first. We're gonna start with Gideon because he's at the back of the party, away from everyone else. Oh, it feels so Take good care to of it already. To be away, like everything's submerged, and all the noise, <laughs> all the chaos. I'll get out of the water and look at what's going on. Getting any chance? Okay, I'm gonna take a shot with my crossbow. All right. <laughs> oh, it's jammed. Crap. Oh, it's still jammed. You never fixed it from last time. I did, I did fix it. Oh. Did I have, did I have how, how many minutes did I have? She had 
Well, I said that I tried to fix it. Did I? Because you fired it, and it was the next round that the ooze monster got all, like attacked you, right? Uh, I was. So I think you probably spent the round unjamming it, and here you go, you fire it, and you rolled a d10, not a d20 to hit. That was an issue. Oh, sure. I see. There you go. It's not jammed. You totally. What are you shooting? The ooze monster. Cobalt. Yeah. Cobalt. The arrow <laughs> sinks into the ooze monster, doing zero damage. Sir Walker, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, chat, handle it, get in. Get I'm in. handling it. Move the arm. Move the Get in. I take. Uh, is it a, a round to try to break free of, of the thing or what? Of the ooze? Yeah. 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 Oh, I guess in your situation, you could make be even like try and sever it with an attack, like just sever the the attachment. Yeah. Um, it won't stop the burning on you though, because it's still attached to you. It just stop the connection and allow you to move. All right, I'll just take another attack at the the kobold. Go for it. Well, actually, no. I I need to 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 break. I need to get this this burning thing done yeah, for me. Definitely. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to break three actually. Go for it. With an, do it with uh, an attack, so you don't lose an attack in this round. Wait. <laughs> Um, never mind. I'm just gonna attack the cobalt. That's what I do. All right, do it. Yeah. Do it. Kill him. Uh, Six is no good. You wildly miss the cobalt. Uh, yeah, I, I guess what I do is I, I start thinking like, wait, should I run away? Should I swing? And that, that... <laughs> that's your whole round is the indecision, the back and forth. Uh, oh, it's right. terrible. Ludovicious, you are under the cobalt pile. All right. Uh, can I still do another strength check to try to get up again? You totally can. Okay. 34. 34. Yeah, they rolled an at 20, plus 7 is 27, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. They rolled a 34, you rolled a 34. Ty does go to the defender. Let me double check my count on these kobolds. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7 and 7 is 14, plus 20 is 34. You get 34. I guess you stand. Somehow, yeah. you get to, oh wait, no, we did say you were stuck to oh, the, the ground by the ooze. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, you're stuck, yeah, you're okay, held I'm stuck. fast. Oh. I'm stuck, do I get an attack instead then? Cause if I, the oil's stuck in me down? Uh, no, cause you could still try. The, the oil oh. is just gonna negate your, your oh, size okay. difference. Fair. Okay, thank you. The kobolds, one or two of, three of them will still hold you down. So only three of them will be on you next round. The remainder will stab at you over and over again. There are right. eight kobolds, so three hold you down. So there's five attacks. Each of these are at plus four to hit. You do not get your dex either. All right. Um, all right. But you can get your shield, I suppose. Uh, two hits. Yeah, two hits. Are they crits? Do they clear by five? All right, let's see. Because uh, uh, those are 24s. Armor is, yeah, yeah. Armor is five, shield is two, so that's 17. Yeah, they crit you. Two crits with a dagger. One, uh -oh. the first crit does five damage, a four and a one. The second crit does two, plus two is four. You take a total of nine damage from the kobolds. Brim. Minus one. Ludovicious is unconscious and bleeding to death. The kobolds have finally done something valuable here. Uh, the ooze monster, this is probably its last round here. Um, it's going to try and surround Sir Walker with more ooze and fire. It pulls itself closer to you and just like begins to cover you with more ooze. Now there's ooze on your legs, both your legs up to your knees, okay. flaming ooze. We're at the end of the round here. Ludovicious, I want you to roll a 1d6. That is the damage Sir Walker and the monster will take. Five. You both take five. The monster dies. <laughs> it's now just a flaming pile of All right. oil. Uh, um, Sir Walker is badly wounded. The ooze monster is dead. The real threat is gone. Sir Walker is on fire, though. It is slightly problematic. And we're going to roll initiative. Three for the kobolds. Anybody roll for the party. First d10 in. Uh, that I see on my screen. Got it. Four. Uh, the first one I saw on my screen was a 10. Uh. Unfortunate. All right, the kobolds go first. They leave Ludovicious. They hesitate on swarming Sir Walker because he's on fire. 
they're not convinced of this course of action, and they instead disengage and back the frick up. Like, let's just let him burn, everybody. It's fine. Just let him burn. That's what they do for their turn. I only burn with the fire of my heart. <laughs> it burns with freedom. What do you do, Sir Walker? Uh, can I, like, go... I'm just going to, like, book it for the water here. Like, can All I right, go well, you, Yeah, you have a firefighting proficiency now. You know what to do. <laughs> you run for the water. Yeah. Okay. You can make it to the water, jump on in, and put yourself out with a nice, satisfying kiss. Uh, minus two. <laughs> minus, minus two. Vicious. Yeah, I just dropped my health by one. That's all. Mm -hmm. I, I'm looking to get it, and I was like, you yeah, know, well, yeah, this is a good idea. This is a where's, good idea. Where's Ludovicious? Right, you got to handle it. It, it, it. He got swallowed by the the ooze. Go, let's let's. Oh get my it. god! <laughs> the ooze got him. The ooze, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take a shot at the uh, at any of the shields. Take a oh. shot. Uh, you'll need some positioning, but you can do it. Yeah, if you put yourself in the right area. You know, if you get closer, yeah. that'll be fine. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. 14's a hit. Roll me some damage. Okay. And then give me a perception check after you roll your damage. Ooh, you kill one. Nice. Thank you. Uh, you don't see Ludovicious on the ground. Okay. You don't see him. <laughs> All right. We lost our friend. Okay. <laughs> Initiative roll against the kobolds. Kobolds roll a nine. First one in. A ten. Rolls a ten. Excellent. Uh, the kobolds organize and begin to drag Ludovicious's body out. Oh. And this is what you, you do see this. You see like many little hands grabbing him and lifting them, lifting him above them and like trotting him out. I, I like, look back at Walker and I say, he was alive. Or left. dead, but his body was outside of the oil. We need to save him. I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through this before. God. <laughs> All right. What do you do? Actually, we've been through this before. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess I'm gonna go in and I'm, I'm gonna charge in and take out the the guy that's closest to us, uh, to us. So like right here, I guess. All right. Uh, well, they they've all pulled him outside. I just can't drag him any farther off the screen because that's the end of the map. So okay. we will switch to the oh ooh. We're gonna switch to the outside view, but I need to make sure we've got the right number of kobolds. So just give me a minute to count the kobolds. See, there's one, and one, and one, and one, mm -hmm. and one. That's, gonna, that's how the kobolds count. One. That, that is one. how they do it. You're so smart. You're so good. I'll be yeah. right next to Walker, kind of with my crossbow, ready to shoot any kobolds yeah. I see. Yeah. But seriously, guys, get away if you can. <laughs> don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, this isn't. This is a retreat mission. We're carrying justice and freedom on our backs. Yeah. <laughs> you should have... I mean, look who's left, man. Whose God protects you? Yeah. Looks like we're there. Sometimes it's your time. Fate works in mysterious ways. We destroyed the monster, but I died. Maybe that's the balance. All right. Hold on, here we go. We got all of these kobolds that are out here. They're everywhere out here. Um, some of them are still chanting. Ludovicious is now in the middle of them. Like that. I, I whisper, I think he's dead. Yeah, I'm gonna be dumped in the tar. <laughs> Guys, run, run. Seriously. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna sheath my sword and I'm, I'm gonna be like, try to make, make my best, uh, like kind of non-violent violence signal. Uh, <laughs> non-violent violent signal? No, no, not no non-violent signal. So I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna put my sword away, and then uh -huh. I'm gonna gonna like kind of ra raise my my hands in in kind of the air and like gesture towards the, the cave. 
Do do I'm it. Gonna, like try like try to make like a de-escalation like non-threatening. Okay. Yeah. And uh, oh. Gideon, what are you doing while he does this? Oh, uh, going back into the cave. <laughs> Hmm. Gideon, hmm. Gideon goes inside the cave and he says, let's back off. <laughs> All right. Uh, one of the brave kobolds, the bravest of the kobolds, steps forward towards you. It's a little bit closer. And then reaches for the sword. You said you sheathed it, right? So he like reaches for your sword and begins to slowly pull it out of your scabbard, like ready to pounce away at any moment. Um, Until he... I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of stop him, but I'm gonna give him the 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 necklace thing, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna try Ooh. to try to stop this, but offer this, offer that. Okay. Oh yeah, he he easily he quickly takes the the rats skulls with the, the garnets in them, um, and scurries back to his party with them. Well, I didn't like. Sorry, I, I wanted to like hold on to it, but like kind oh. of as like a gesture. So I don't I don't want him to like be able to take tear it out of my hand. But uh, I well, gonna... he's gonna tug on it. So give me a okay. post strength check to hold on to it if you want to resist. Yeah. Wrestle him. Wrestle you, him down. You keep a nice strong grip, and he tugs and tugs, but it doesn't let go. Yeah. Um, and then he spits on your feet. Ooh. And I get, I don't know whose turn it is anymore, so we're just gonna roll initiative again, and we'll <laughs> see who goes first. Because we initiative got wonky. Uh, I've got to uh, the, off me. Yep. Yeah. The party goes first. Okay. All right. Um, I don't want to be surrounded here. I want to be. I don't know if they're they're looking to. Can I do like a sense motive check or something to see what they're what, what they're kind of trying? Like, are they get, gathering up to charge or anything? Or oh or yeah, what? they're they're about to rip you to shreds. You know, okay. he tried to pull it. It didn't go. He spat at your feet and jumped backwards. And most of the other kobolds, you know, took their weapons from like sort of down low to like raising high as they begin to move towards you. Walker, get back here. No, I'm gonna go the other way. I wanna go uh, <laughs> kind of out, out the, cave, the, the cave here. So I have a, cause I don't wanna be surrounded here. Just throw the necklace, they'll leave you alone. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, can, can I do that and, and like be ready to run or something or what do you I, mean? I, don't, I don't want to be in range of them I, so, I, i'm just gonna book it i'm just gonna book it uh, just run oh, okay fast. yeah all right you're one of these away. kobolds is gonna get an attack of opportunity as you run by uh, it's a natural 18 but that you've got 20 yeah. ac it doesn't even matter yeah. probably a second one gets an attack of opportunity but it's a nine it doesn't matter yeah. you book it gideon what do you do run gideon though, uh, seems a little confused he's like walker walker <laughs> And then, he, and then he hears like swinging and stuff, and he like starts to panic. Uh oh. Uh, he goes back inside the uh, cave, kind of looking oh around. Oh my god! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! He he goes to the uh, back entrance that they previously barricaded. Oh my god! All right, the party is split. Uh, the kobolds have Ludovicious in their arms. Their prey has scattered, which they are thrilled about, but they're not sure what to do because the ruby gem, the, the magical item went that way, but the other guys in our home, what do we do here? <laughs> they're not sure. The only thing the kobolds can agree to do is to throw Ludovicious into the pile of pitch where he will slowly sink and drown in tar unless someone can save him, which is very, very unlikely at this point. Uh, mm -hmm. And now they need to make an intelligence check, which they botch. And they stand around arguing with each other in kobolds, yelling at each other and pointing in both directions, making zero progress on their turn. We roll initiative again. All right. Kobolds go seven. Four. Minus oh. four and sinking. Yeah, sorry. Minus three. You You're can dead. do this. Yeah, I you know guys... I'm dead. I know I'm dead. Sick. I told you to run away. I told you to run away. Party goes first. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do? I, I get in the back area. You're you're deep. You're right in the back area. You mean behind the river? Yeah, no, the back. Yeah, the, back like, oh, the back, oh, back. Like, yeah. yeah. He, he, okay. he probably picked up my stone off the ground. Right. Uh, you get to that back area and you see there's sort of like, um, like a, a pit 
that has been like covered, like oil has been dumped into it over and over again. There's like little trickles of tar leading up to it. There's just Anything a big pit in? of tar. No, that's about it. Now we should set that on fire. Oh well. Okay. Uh, what to... about you, Sir Walker? Um, uh... I'm just going to be observing from a safe distance away. Okay. Uh, the kobolds. Gideon's going to go back to the main room. I don't know if this happens next turn. Or... No, you can. You got plenty of movement, so you can go all the way back and then back to the main room. It's fine. Uh, the kobolds are still arguing over what to do. They're not particularly <laughs> smart or well organized. Um, yeah. So I guess we just keep rolling initiatives and going to the next. What do you guys want to do once we're out of initiative? Uh, does the river like flow to a different part of the cave? No, it's like an underground passage that the cave, the cave like intersects. Yeah, it flows somewhere, but who knows how far, who how long it's underwater for? Okay, he's going to run to the top. Actually, he's going to um hide beneath a bunch of kobold bodies. <laughs> <laughs> you hide under the kobold bodies? Yeah. Oh my, okay. And I'm just gonna try to wait. I, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait and see how long it takes them to come downstairs. I'm pretty sure they're gonna come after you once I'm dead dead. <laughs> But uh, Gideon lies down beneath the bodies. Can, does it work well? Uh, sure. Yeah, you can cover yourself with kobold bodies. There are a lot of them, you know. Yeah. All right. Um, what are you gonna do, Walker? Yeah. Um, he's gonna toss the white stone like deeper into the cave. Okay. No, you're talking about me. Um. Mm hmm. I mean, I want to be a, a safe distance away, but I want to like yell at them and like kind of distract them if I could. Sure, you start yelling at them from this distance. Are, are you qualifying no. this as safe? No, that's not safe. So I want to be like farther. How many feet? Pro probably like 200 feet away or something. Sure, there's, like... um, there's a rise right here. So from this yeah. position, oh, you might. Like yeah, there's a rise. Yeah, because this right here is like a, a cliff. Right, yeah. so if you're down, you're below it. That might be even with it, maybe. You can taunt at them. You might not actually be able to see them. Give me a perception yeah. check to spot them from that spot. Nah, you can't quite see them anymore. Okay. I'll just go kind of back farther then and then see if I can get it like a... Actually, there's like a pretty tall cliff above. That's like quite a far away, but it's still... Oh yeah, that that's probably got a better viewpoint. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you can see them from there. You're about yeah. 230 feet. The kobolds have decided. They've made up their decision on this round. They're going into the cave, uh, and I'm gonna give them. They're gonna swarm into the cave, angrily yelling and shouting, wielding weapons. Gideon is piled underneath kobold bodies and has thrown the light stone further in. Now the question is, do the kobolds think the lightstone is where Gideon is? That's a very obvious answer. Kobolds are kind of dumb though. Oh yeah, they definitely make that conclusion. They swarm past you, shrieking and shouting, swarm over the bridges and uh, go to where the lightstone is, which is maybe like huddled you know, in a pile of crap. And they pull the crap aside and pull out the lightstone. And then realize that Gideon's not here. Yeah, I get up. I get up. And I get up. <laughs> you get up and you get out. The kobolds are in. You are out. You make it out to here. Um, you, as you make it out, you see Ludovicius still in the tar pit. You know, he's he's maybe up to his chest in tar now. God, but you can see his it. chest is still moving Run. ever so slightly. Is this like a hidden place? What? Run! Is this kind of like a... Yeah, like, it's kind of hidden. Okay, You'd have cool. to be like right on top to see that. Totally. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay low, and then I'm gonna like kind of squat there mm -hmm. and like grab my rope, and then just try to like start lassoing. <laughs> Ludo. All right, you've got maybe one good lassoing because if the lasso misses, it gets stuck in the tar, right? Yeah. So we're gonna make a lasso uh, check. Yeah. 
I got a, I got lasso rules right here for you. <laughs> Is lasso rules? There are yeah. lasso rules, man. There's rules for everything. I love this game. Do you um, watch uh, Dark Rift Death when lasso was the main weapon? Those were dark days, man. With Roy. Roy yeah, was. Roy. That was Roy's our hero. Roy was the hero we deserved. He really is. Roy was amazing, but God, those whip speeds just got him wrecked. <laughs> well, that, is that why you got these new rules? Uh, let's see. If the attacker succeeds with the cold shot, he can do, 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 do. He ends a plus four bonus to his opposed check. Blah, 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 blah. 17. Ooh, 17. I was going to say you get a minus four to hit and all you need is a 10. So that is exactly what you need. You yeah. grab onto Ludovicious. It goes like, I guess he was kind of like lying there. So maybe, how do you catch him when he's sort of in the tar? I guess it's more of like you catch an elbow and it hooks onto the, the shield. Yeah, like, ah, it's the though. shield. The shield strapped to his arm. So you like lasso the shield and you can make me your greatest strength check. You need yeah. another amazing Can I assist here. with that strength check? You are unconscious. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> assist. Ludo Vicious is stuck in the tar, but you've got him here. Um, give me another strength check to see if you can pull him to you before he bleeds to death. <gasps> it's not the case. Uh, Roll me a bunch dead. of strength checks right now. He's going to be dead, but you won't know he's dead until you get him to you. 24 is not going to work. 24 is not going to work. No, we're looking for like a 30 oh. here. Oh, you, you're you going to need like a natural 20. Yeah, so you're, you're tugging on him for like five minutes and he's just stuck in the tar. It's never going to stop. Stop, just stop. It's never going to work. <laughs> just um, run, mate, run. So instead, you I'm hear really the sound. I'm trying to get him. Yeah. I know, but just I, run. I think, like, how, how long? Like, I think it's 10 it minutes. It takes about five minutes before the kobolds emerge from the cave to like okay. try and find you. Jeez. And uh, give me a perception check to see if you can hear him exit. Yeah. Nope. And Sir Walker, you've been watching from afar. Give me a perception check to see if you can see the kobolds coming out. Uh, sure. In time to, you know, do something about can it. See me come out? Did Gideon see yeah. me? Uh, give me a perception check to see if you saw Gideon come out. I guess it doesn't matter. It might matter. Nope. So you must have been, like, rearranging yourself <laughs> when Gideon, like, popped in and out of view for just a brief moment. Yeah. And then I'm the kobolds are, are low to the ground. Gideon, you don't realize that they're here until one of them is on this ledge above you and shrieks in kobolds. I just like, I toss out another rope or I'm just like continuously sliding around in the mud. Uh, I need it. Give me an initiative roll party. Otherwise we're all gonna die here. Anyone, someone. Eight for the party, three for the kobolds. They go first and the kobold's going to leap on Gideon from above with a dagger. Two is not gonna do it. And uh, which direction does the kobold go? One, the kobold lands short. Uh, his oh. leap just kind of hits the rocks and he tumbles down, taking roll me a 1d6 for damage as he falls down the rocks. <laughs> he dies. He breaks his neck on the way down, Gideon. He only had four HP. Father Gideon, slay! I'm fucking out, dude. I'm outy, bro. You're out? Good, get out of there! I withdraw. <laughs> And right. I'm not within the attack of opportunity range. Right? You're not. And even at withdrawing, you can basically outpace the kobolds. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do, Walker? <laughs> you can hear the shouts of combat now. The the breaking of kobold necks. All right. Uh, can I, like... Um... <laughs> just go back to Bergshire, man. I'm just going to head back to town. Maybe follow the... See if I can see him and then fall on back there. I don't know if we can meet up afterwards okay. later. Well, it's nighttime already, right? It was getting dark yeah. is when they started their chanting. So you sort of lose sight of each other. Um, and I think you both independently head back to Berkshire yeah. and you meet up in shenanigans like two days later. <laughs> you know, you arrive separately. Um, you can roll initiative to see who arrives first. Yeah. And there's a big banner that says mission accomplished. <laughs> Hanging from the <laughs> inside of the tavern. <laughs> So we both throw a four, so I guess we exist inside. Yeah, you know, you're walking, and uh, I think Sir Walker, like, comes up on Gideon, who's maybe going slightly slower than him. The two of you meet on the way to shenanigans just before you get to the tavern. Yeah, my leg's covered in pitch. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Girls all over the place. You make it back to the tavern, and there's Tricky Dick 
sitting in your spot like you, like he promised he would be. Takes a look at the two of you. We're gonna Didn't have to I go send three of you off there? We lost the man. Well, that's okay. Did you get the kobolds? No. Look. Yes. Yeah, I... We're not at war with kobolds. <laughs> we want to be with them. We want to be friends with them. We want to well, be I know. The, the idea is... Kill them. <laughs> Well, I know we never formally declared war, but they've been terrorizing our mining operations for a long time. We've got a greater war going on here. You're telling me you got half them kobolds? I'm telling you, I'm oh, telling you, the kobolds yeah. dug in deep. How many? How many of them did you get? Give me a number. Fifty. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, I would say like fifteen or so. Fifteen What's kobolds no, for. It was like forty. Forty Maybe. kobolds. It was like 50. 50 kobolds? Woo! For one person? Well, I'd far, say those body element. count odds are in our favor. That sounds like victory to me. Yeah. That is victory. That's definitely victory. I mean, in all ways that matter, other than the fact that we did not secure our primary objective, but 50 to 1, them are good odds. Well, we could go back and just spend years just tormenting those kobolds and just acquiring their pit and just delay it and tell everybody that we're fighting a good cause. Well, that does sound like a good idea. <laughs> well, why don't I reward you with money, and uh, then you'll lead the next mission in with more right. men and more firepower. That sounds good. Okay. He will award you each your 10,000 copper pieces. You can take it in gold if you want, so that's uh, 100 gold for each of you. And let's add up your experience. You slaughtered. At least you told him you slaughtered fifty kobolds, and he I think took it was the round about. Uh, he's definitely taking the highest body count number you can give him because it's all <laughs> about the body count to them. And uh, I will give you experience for killing fifty kobolds because you you told him you did, and he believes you. And somehow that gives you experience. I'm not and sure. And elemental. Don't question it. Yeah, yeah. 50 times 20. Whoops, no. 50 you times turn it at the tower elemental. Plus yeah. power. This dude, which gives you this. Excellent. Um, And you've sort of, a, I mean, hey, mission accomplished, right? Yeah, right? Mission, mission accomplished. accomplished. All right, you'll get quest XP as well. <laughs> But not every time you fail a mission, Walker, okay? Just this first time, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll run with the joke we once. Buckets. We destroyed the buckets. We destroyed their That's technology. The mining operation is They're destroyed. Their infrastructure. Their infrastructure. You, you did throw the buckets in the water. I don't know if that's destroyed, really, but... Um, it went underwater. Maybe they're afraid of swimming. I don't know. Uh, and we'll divide this XP total by two. Each of you take home 1,200 experience points. Oh, so close to... to the... Wait, how many? Uh, 1,200. Okay. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, everyone. I'm going to have to make a reboot of Stair Cleric for next time. Let's see how that <laughs> and, and they will be wearing the, the marks this time. <laughs> Tricky Dick, thanks you for your service. And, um... Detect evil. Well, actually, it's not needed. It's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. I'm not, I'm not worried about this guy at all. Good. I already <laughs> saw into his eyes. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, and that's it for shenanigans today! This was awkward and dark and weird, but I loved it. Um, congratulations <laughs> to our surviving heroes and sorrows to the fallen. Um... Anyone have anything to say before we head out for the day? Poor Ludo. Poor Ludo. Locked in jail for nine years and then destroyed by kobolds and burning ooze el uh, oil elementals. God. Well, I killed the oil elementals. You did. You did. Uh, I wish I shouldn't have been too afraid to go deeper in. Sure, go on deeper mm. in, throw in the fire. Ah, uh, well. Oh, what well. The, what does the necklace do? Oh, you did get the necklace. Yeah, I did, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, got it, the is, necklace. it is a, an amulet of protection from fire. It gives you <laughs> resistance to fire damage. Exactly. Well, he's wearing it. 
He was wearing it though. I know. Yeah. Resist my brace on my wrist. He, yeah. he took like uh, one and two fire damage instead of two and four. Uh, clever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. That's it, everybody. That's been shenanigans. We will be back next week with more tomfoolery. Um, in the meantime, we will have a Homeward Bound episode tomorrow and a bunch of other stuff uh, next week. But that's it. We're out. Make sure to tune in on Monday because there's going to be some cool artwork on stream. It's going to be the best artwork that the stream has ever had. Yeah, no. well, right, Matt? No. Come on, best art ever. The greatest. Every, every day. Every every, day. The best you've ever done. Best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, that's it. We'll see you around. Bye-bye. See you guys.